Hi, today I am going to discuss system of equations with the help of GDC. First one, linear system of equations. For example, we are given equation x minus y equal to 2 pi x plus 2 y equal to 9. How will solve with the help of GDC? I know many of you know but I want to make it more clear to you all. This is our question. Okay. Alright, so look at this screen. Now first of all I would like you all to look at this, this these buttons on and off button. Second key is for all the blue keys. Yellow key is for all the keys which are represented by yellow letters. White key is for all the letters or the keys which are represented by white letters. Now if in case we want to use any key with blue letters, so we will first press second. Second is so first of all you look at the screen cursor is floating on the screen so uh, we have put it on normal not scientific not English so we, if we want to float it we can move the cursor accordingly we can bring the cursor down and any let's say we want to float the decimals to two places so we can press enter then we can move further function parameters anything we want to choose a program. topic in context of a topic so we can choose <coughs> we want our answers in decimals fractions numerator denominator type or whatever if we want to use statistics we can so first clear let's clear everything from the screen and now let's enter our new equations so as we <coughs> have seen the first equation is x minus y is equal to 2 so if we look at the screen we can make y as a subject so y will be equal to y will be equal to x minus 2 that's our equation number 1 okay that's our equation number 1 and similarly we can make y a subject in the second equation so if you make y is a subject y is equal to 9 minus y x 9 minus y x in the bracket can divide this by 2. So 9 minus 5 x divided by 2. So that these are the two equations which we have to enter in the GDC circuit. Okay. <coughs> so first equation is x minus 2. Here we have to use only GDC circuit. So x is here, x minus 2, then enter to the next curve. The second curve is uh, here we can use uh, sorry, alpha equal to in order to get numerator and denominator form. So here we have is y is equal to 9 minus 5x, 9 minus 5x divided by divided by 2. So these are the two equations, two linear equations and then we can just press graph and you can see two intersecting lines. Two intersecting lines and you can find the point of intersection by using second trace, press number 5 intersection and press or you can take the cursor near the intersection point and then press enter, enter, enter and approximate answer because uh, approximate answer is x is equal to 1.857 and y is equal to negative 0 0.142 because we we put uh, floating at the two places so uh, this is the answer graphically <coughs> let's solve the second system of equations the set second system of equations is Simultaneous equations in three elements. Let's see. The first one is x minus. Oh, okay. Uh, 
plus some linear quadratic first linear quadratic first so linear quadratic is y is equal to 3x minus 1 and the second equation is y is equal, uh, quadratic equation is 3x square minus 2x minus 2x and minus 3 so that's the system of equations okay now let's go to the circuit did you see clear everything first yeah go to y equal to clear everything clear everything and now enter the first curve so what's the first curve first curve is <coughs> first curve is y is equal to 3x minus 1 3x minus 1 sorry because we have to use to the cp so first one is 3x minus 1 and then enter next one is 3x squared and the next is minus 2x minus 2x opposite minus 2x then the next one is minus 3 so minus 3 enter and press the graph can see the graph here so there are two points of intersection here sometimes it's very close intersection and we are not able to find the exact value so what is the exact answer so I would suggest go for zoom especially in IB the questions are like that where DBC is need to be applied then they ask this type of questions so we can select box which area we want to enlarge we just press enter and okay then take to the left side perfectly and have we selected the wrong box anyway similarly you can again again select let's go to zoom press 1 bring the cursor down so that both points should come in the intersection so press enter go to the left side right side take the cursor up so that both point you see now both points are in the box now we press enter now the GDC or the window will highlight that zone only so that we can easily if there is a question of sketching the point of intersection we can easily sketch also and we can find the point of intersection number five then bring the cursor near the point of intersection press enter second curve confirm the second curve guess value press enter so that's our point of interest first point of intersection again press second trace uh, number five press uh, take the cursor to near to the second point of intersection and enter 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 so we have the second point of intersection as x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5 next system of equations is quadratic quadratic so let's enter the equations first equation is y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 2 then <coughs> y is equal to 2x squared plus x plus 2 and and this is the system we want to solve uh, is typing error y is equal to 2x square plus x so plus x plus 2 so let's go to the same same step clear the previous window 
enter the first equation y is equal to 3x square plus or minus minus 2x plus 2 2x plus 2 enter next equation 2x square plus x plus 2 2x square plus x plus 2 enter graph very easy but it helps in sketching the you know sketching the curves see so there is uh, when x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 0 but what is the second point of intersection so window is not clear so we can uh, we can go to uh, zoom try pressing standard because we have set box so we can try pressing standard if we get the clear point of intersection yeah so there is a, another two points of intersection but we are only able to see one so that means we need to use the window so let's go to window screen first so let's say negative uh, 20 x is okay i think x is negative 10 okay negative 10 by oh sorry enter so we need to press negative not minus sign so 10 10 okay we can take scale 2 y we can say is 20 negative 20 uh, y minimum y max now we can say is 20 and scale also we can 18 and then press graph probably we will get the more clear picture than before if not then increase the window screen again see the point of intersection okay increase again go to window increase the y value increase the y maximum minimum, even minimum okay we can make it 30 and then graph so that we can have more clear picture It's very interesting too, but we need we need to uh, polish our skills. It may look like sometimes uninteresting, but it's a really interesting. Second point: intersection is x zero, y is equal to two. That is the first point. Again, second cal number five. Take the cursor near to the second point of intersection. And then press enter, 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 and intersection is x is equal to 3, y is equal to 23. Yeah, I hope it makes sense. Thank you so much.